So we rented this from Sunbelt Rentals in Jackson, Tennessee. Screen a deal because they do a veteran's discount. And if you're going to give it to me, I'm going to take it. So we have made three trips up here with the trailer loads. We have a very small pile of wood chips going. This is our intent is to put a big pile here to um, use for the pigs. Uh, the pigs have figured out not to come over here when the green machine is making noise. They're over there. I guess at some point in time we need to re-pull the tarp back over so they get more shade because um, they're out of shade. Um, pull the tarp over so I can get in there and fill the water trough or water barrel. Pigs are right. Sheep are up here. I'm going to go in and, and hold, pull it. Okay, well, I'll, I'll take them with me and come over this side. We have the sheep here. They are connected to the main hotline on the fence over here. Um, yes, I did. It will be hot if you touch it. GoPro in my bibs and see how that does. All righty. So yeah, we had the neighbor come up to chat with us for a few minutes, check out what we we're doing. He's a nice guy. He's uh, retired, messes around in his garage. Has lots of stories about the people that used to own the property and the people before that that used to own the property because they've been there for a long time. It's like saying he's trying to pull some water up for the sheep. You gonna be able to hit the bucket from there? Okay. Yeah. I do need to mow over there. I really need to. There's a uh, wee whack behind, uh, uh, beside the fence over here because the sheep weren't on the fence. So we've gutted the garden. Mm, seen the tractor this the other day. No, she did not get physical with it. Because you know what would happen if she tried to get physical with this, all this dirt? She would have to stop every two minutes because she. Anyway, it is what it is. So she got in here with the uh, tractor, um, tried to rake it out. I wouldn't mind having a plow to put on the back of that tractor for such things. Well, let's go over and say hi to the turkeys. They're getting pretty good size. The um, our three toms are probably close enough to wait for me. To uh, processing the uh, seven hens, they can go a couple more days. I love the color. I'm not sure if you can see the color on the camera. Usually, when we come over here, one of the males puffs up a little bit. I guess he's not going to today. Hey, that's one that's uh, starting to fluff up a little bit. I don't think he's going to give us full plumage, but... So, picking it back up, it's evening. And this kind of work kicks our butt. <laughs> um, I don't know... If anybody else out there is experiencing the same thing. <clears throat> but since COVID, we've only had it once. We are... It just... This kind of work is just hard on us. 
you tuck her out really quick. Um, so we had a nice dinner, lots of protein, um, and hoping we have enough energy to at least make it feel like, even with the really great discount for the chipper, that we're getting our money's worth and we're getting a product we can use that'll carry us through at least the season. It would have been nice to have more than that, but you know, that goes on. Carrie is going around that way to fill the turkey feeder. Hey, hey, hey. Um, and then I guess we're gonna go back over and start with the chipper again. Okay, I turn you back on because um, here in a minute when the turkeys take off down there, and take off running, it's hilarious. <laughs> it's hilarious. I don't know if you can see that, but turkeys running is is cartoon city. <clears throat> anyway, pick you up in a little bit. GoPro, stop recording. Pigs have started another hole and they get so excited when you come in. They start spinning like a washing machine. instead of rooting around in that and the new stuff. Strapped in. Make it up tomorrow. We're gonna lose light real quick. Farmer carry. Here is that this is piled up with a lot of different weights and links and our tractor can only pull so much at a time but I got up to it before we took our break and pulled some more out and back and down and I'm hoping that that'll help us get more of the um, trees through that we can and then maybe we can pull some more up and down and get that smaller stuff down. Off to work we go. Um, probably won't be. Uh, I'm gonna probably end this um, video here with this image: rooster on Chickshaw Mini Me. <laughs> what you doing, boy? Craziness. Have a wonderful evening and we'll get back with you. Day two. This is Sunday. We did not film anything. We don't normally film on Sunday anyway, but we did not close out Saturday's video. Harry, how did chipping go? Next time anyone mentions getting a wood chipper and I say yes, shoot me. It's a good deal. They, they give you a really good discount, but we weren't really ready and everything was stacked up from the, which you can see in the video. Um, it's all stacked up and it, it was different size things and it was just killer and, and we're old. We did not get near as much as we would like to have gotten done. So we have a guy in 
Jackson I can call and he'll deliver a uh, uh, um, 20 foot trailer full of wood chips for 60, 80 bucks, something like that. Unless the price has gone up with inflation. Well, it could have. Um, <laughs> and so, but we also get a free trailer rental from Tractor Supply, so we could always drive there. And he said, if you d bring a trailer, he'll load, he'll load it. it. He'll load it, and it's even cheaper. Right. Because then you're paying for the gas. So right. We'll see. So we'll see. But I know for the pigs, we're going to need at least one more load. And we need them for the chickens on a regular basis if right. we're going to keep them in one place through the winter. So, but um, let's see. So we're we're just kind of like chilling now, um, and mm -hmm. I'll be taking that chipper back tomorrow and we have determined that next weekend is turkey processing day next Yay. saturday 7 a.m anybody in our group that wants to um join us send me an im through growing monarch homestead and we'd be happy to have you we do not have a lot of turkeys we unfortunately can't really share we're only sharing knowledge this go around sorry I don't know why, but we order, a, you know, a certain amount of turkeys and then we lose some and we end up not even having enough to have one a month, let alone more than that. So anyway, if you're interested in um, turkey processing and getting involved and, and learning, um, we'd be happy to have you. Right? right on. Cool. So that's a wrap. Right? Yes. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following. And God bless. Bye.